Hey, I'm Lex from PDQ.com. If you've ever had to tell an end user to reboot, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to take you through what you need to do as soon as you get yourself in enterprise mode, how to get your AD sync up and running. That is Active Directory sync to get new machines and your machines on your network into inventory. It's actually very, very simple. My favorite way to get to this is you go to Options, Preferences, or you could go to Computer, Add Computers, and Active Directory Sync takes the same place. You'll notice right here, here is your Active Directory Sync. Some things you're going to need to know. Okay, out of the, out of the, right out of the box, create Active Directory collections and create collections for groups. That's at, um, just a default, right? Now this Sync, you can set it to Auto Sync, and we'll say ours for seven days. Okay. Obviously, you can send this, you know, in hours if you want to be really aggressive. Here, my, my lab doesn't change that often, so once a week's fine with me. Now, to get these, the other thing you need to know about is this delete mode. Okay, let's just jump in. In import only, that will import stuff from Active Directory only. And if, let's say, you uh, retire a machine and delete it from Active Directory, it's not going to get deleted out of inventory. So you're in charge of deleting old stuff out of your inventory. Uh, mix sync basically will sync anything from Active Directory and then if you had work group machines you added by name or network discovery you'd have to maintain those manually so anything from Active AD sync gets maintained from AD and the others you'd have to manually do and if if Active Directory is king in your net in your world which it is in ours we're gonna do a full sync so a machine needs to be an Active Directory to be an in inventory once you do that you need to include containers okay now if you have multiple domains, you can obviously change the domain. I've got a couple here, but we're just going to work with my web domain. Okay, and you can see here is the tree. Now I can grab a sub of this, any of these individually, or I can grab the top level and include the subtrees. I want all the machines, so I'm going to grab them and give it an OK. Now the other thing you do is exclude. But let's just let's just run the sync right now. I'm going to save this. We're going to say sync now, <clears throat> and there you go. I went from one machine to 48 machines that quickly, and you'll notice it's automatically starting a scan on there. And you start noticing some things here, obviously computer details, Active Directory, now, but I've got some machines like Hulk and Iron Man that are offline. In fact, I've got some machines that I deleted, I got rid of, but I haven't taken them out of Active Directory. Let me show you one last thing, which is how to exclude something from your AD sync. So again, options, preferences, AD sync right there and we're going to go exclude a container a uh, couple of ways to get machines out one mark them as disabled in your inventory and they won't sync i'll show you that checkbox or i'm excluding and i'm going to exclude any computers in the web old i built an ou and stuck a bunch see there's the machines that i don't want to show up in my active directory sync i'll give it an okay you'll notice right there it's not included that's an exclude and then as long as you leave this blank, sync disable computers. If you disable computers, they won't sync from Active Directory Sync either. So again, we'll save this. I'll tell it to sync now. And that 48 machines jumped down to 39 because it just got rid of those machines that I didn't want it to sync. There you go. That's how you get machines into inventory. Those scans are great. Um, we got a lot of great videos on, you know, scans, uh, dynamic collections filtering and that. Check them out. They're on our web. Uh, our YouTube channel and uh, hey thanks for watching I'm Lex from pdq.com